Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this type of weave pattern patterns. Probably most of you already know or already visualize how to do or how to make it. But for those who don't know, I'm going to be showing you how to make that. All right. So before we make this, we have we need to have a something that we can make this weave pattern. So I made this. This is a very simple, uh, stiff kind of fabric, which looks pretty ugly, but that's not the point. The point is we need to make this on this design. If you want that, go and check my description. You can find the Gumroad file, just download that. And if you don't want, you can also make this type of pattern on your garment. Let's start making it. All right, before making it, I'm gonna select everything in the 3D window, right click and freeze this. Now again, I'm saying this, it is very simple to make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding a point around here. Let me just duck it here so you can see what tools I'm using. So add point, you can add a point right about here. Add another point, instead of left click, right click, so you get this pop up and in the line one press 15 millimeter so this is the width of the individual pattern so yeah i want them to be 15 millimeter if you want bigger wider or narrower go for it so 15 hit okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and make a rectangle just like that and this width should be 15 millimeter so if i could go barely 15 millimeter there you go it's pretty important guys to add a new fabric so this is basically a stiff fabric and i don't recommend you to use the same fabric on here so make a new fabric and just apply it if uh, the custom fabric it's like um, the default sim for simulation it's perfectly fine for this and then i'm gonna also dock the segment sewing here segment sewing i'm gonna just click here and here so in the 3D window, let's put it there. Make sure I'm telling you now, and I will be constantly telling you this. Check for the sewing thread. So this is straight. If it is not straight, for example, it's reversed or something like this. So all you have to do is just select at the sewing door, right click on this sewing and reverse sewing. It's super important. Let's see like so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and reduce the particle distance around three. This is a very simple, small rectangle pattern. So if you make it three particle distance, it doesn't matter. I mean, it will not slow your computer down. So yeah, you can make this three millimeter. And in the rendering thickness, which is the visual thickness, actual thickness of the pattern, right now it's so flat. And you can type it one, it will be one millimeter thick if you don't see it probably you have selected the textured surface so you, you will not see any um, thickness so if you want to see that thickness just go ahead go and hover over here and thick textured surface now i'm going to select that uh, i might want to get like 1.5 so that that is the thickness i want and make sure whatever your rendering thickness is you put the same, I mean, same thickness of the collision. So 1.5 and I'm going to simulate. So just simulate a bit. I'm going to be making a little gap around here. So right click and hit 0.6. The reason I'm giving here 0.6 is that you cannot go below that. If I go 0.3 and hit enter, it's still not 0.3, it's 0.6. So this is the maximum um, close you can get you can go so right click 0.6 so I want that kind of I want a little very tiny gap between all the patterns so again uh, this add point tools right click 15 millimeter so I hope you get this idea it's pretty simple control C and control V I'm gonna go segment sewing and segment sew like that make sure the threads are straight and simulate there we go again i'm going to do the same thing so 0.6 because that's the maximum you can go i mean the minimum you can go 15 
I want uh, five times. So this is three times. One fifteen, two fifteen, three fifteen. I'm gonna go again. Point six. Do not forget to make a little gap. Now again, fifteen. You guessed it. Point six and fifteen. So I have five total individual place for the sec uh, straps. So control C, control V, control V, control V. So I have five more segment sewing and let's sew it there. Again, make sure to not to mess up with the sewing thread. It should be straight. I will be saying that again and again. So we have the vertical straps uh or the rectangle patterns that's pretty amazing now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna again here in the first where the first strap is sewn i'm gonna go and make a 0.6 millimeter of gap there and add a line with the internal polygon line and just click here and just add a straight line with holding shift double click oops no double click yeah i'm gonna go i'm uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna again 0.6 there because you cannot go 0.5 so 0.6 and 15 again i want five more so 0.6 15 15 so we have four one two three and four one more 0.6 15 now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this control c control v and just rotate like that with holding shift you can just snap that so now uh, if i find you also have to rotate it here so just rotate like that it doesn't have to be like exactly amazing make sure uh, if you click here you can see the blue dot uh, let me show you it has to be in the same spot as this if it's not for example if i move it like that so in this area this is the left side of this pattern so if i press there it will go on the right side it will be a little bit confusing that's why to just avoid the confusion make sure that if you click here it will be same on this so now uh, segment sewing segment sew with the top make sure to check the sewing threads and just try to uh, simulate there and also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and point six on the last area and just double click I mean polygon line again point six just do the same thing right click 15 right click point six right click 15 right click point six right click 15 right click 0.6 right click 15 right click 0.6 right click 15 five times great now uh you need to sew it with the end to this and simulate so it's a big bit bigger i'm um, i need to make it smaller just select that and just make it smaller make sure the sewing thread is not reversed it's it's so important just trust me you have to trust me let's see it should be a little bit tighter i mean don't make it too tight just a little tight so they give you the weave result now with this one pattern what i, I i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this and this i mean the second one and the fourth one and just put it in front and simulate so we have a little bit of weave kind of thing and you guessed it i hope probably many of you guessed it how to make the rest of it but i'm going to show you with one more um, rectangle pattern so select that Control c Control v just uh, sew it with the second line make sure that your sewing threads are equal i mean this thread now this goes on upward i mean over this one so this needs to go over so this this and this needs to go over you can just you cannot just go and drag it like that no all you have to do is just select the select max select mesh box and try to find 
where it should be. So for example, just normal drag, it will be like, it will be green. If you, it will be selected, not green. If you want to extend that, just select Control and Shift and it will be extended. If you want to delete or deselect some parts, just click only Control and select. So Control Shift and only Control. So I'm gonna Control Shift and select that around a little bit upward. So if I find, yeah. And I just want to make this um, probably not. I'm gonna maybe a little bit like a little bit down. MD is like pretty smart with that. So it will, it won't be problem. So um, like that, right? With the fifth one, like that, and like that. Okay, so if you simulate, MD will know what to do with this. So as you can see, you get the very simple, nice looking wave patterns. It, it looks good. So now guys, I hope many of you already understand how to do it. For those who don't understand, I will be showing you with all, all the five um, wave step by step. I'm not going to be skipping. But if you understand that, skip to this time frame so you don't have to waste your time. So I'm going to select that, Control C, Control V. Let's go there, segment so with the third one, and this one, and simulate. Just make sure everything is nicer. Uh, yep, looks pretty nice, I think. As you can see, this goes over, so it needs to be under. So all I have to change is the second one and the fourth one. So again, select max box, and you have to select the area which you need to go over it. Let's make it, let's make it a bit upward. Uh, yeah, around that. Don't try to be, I mean, exactly perfect. MD will know what to do. Most of the time though, I mean, yeah. Not every time it works like a charm, but most of the time it works nicely. And he, uh, I'm, MD knows what to do. So like, yeah. So see, it's just, hmm. if you find this kind of issue, just try to, so as you can see, you can see all these wave pattern that looks pretty nice in my opinion. So it's Control C, Control V with the fourth one in the horizontal line. And let's go there, simulate, let's see. Yep. Now what I have to do, uh, I need to go with one, third and fifth. So let's select where it should be, where it needs to be, like that. Can just go the third one let's go like that the fifth one as well like this i hope md will understand the assignment and it does great one more time so con control c control v and segment so with the last one make sure the thread sewing i mean sewing threads are not reversed it's way too important make sure make sure it's not reversed all right now with the second one and the fourth one so let's go one more time with the second one let's see let's go like that again Chloe will understand i mean md will understand i hope so i mean most of the time it does. Just try to make, oh no. Mm, yeah. Simulate and see. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay. So it just goes a little odd. I'm gonna select this area and try to go underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it does that. I mean, you don't have to worry about just select this area it happens it happens and it's a good thing that it happened here so i can actually show you how to fix that 
I'm gonna just make that one there. Let's also select the vertical one and try to make it in front. So yeah, it does that job. Do the same thing with this horizontal first. So select this area and just go push it behind this select this vertical line i mean this vertical patterns and push it under i mean upward semi um come on i mean something like that you can just change that and make sure to have this thick textured surface and also you need to disable seam line and internal lines and show lines only thread is visible and this kind of thing all right all right guys so here is the wave pattern and the last thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of them the horizontal the vertical lines except for this i mean these four and just make it a bit longer now this three bit longer now this two bit longer and this one bit longer so I have kind of like not like very even shape. So it's kind of asymmetrical. So yeah, that's how you can make this kind of weave pattern. And the last thing, if you want, if you think that this is too much, too much thickness, you can go select everything, go in the add thickness, go one. Also in the rendering thickness, go one. And it's similar, so it will be a little bit let's thicker than before now you can just uh what i was gonna say uh unfreeze everything and simulate you can also select all just Control d and you can just paste there pretty amazing huh now guys this is just an idea of making this simple weave pattern inside of Marvelous Designer. It's really one of the most easiest th things to do and it's fun as well. But you can add multiple like various design details on top of it. I'm not going to show you but here's some example as you can see. All uh, You can go crazy, you can go as creative as you can and you can also do it in the pants area and all this area whatever you want on the sleeve area it will look pretty amazing thank you so much for watching this video if this video helps you give a thumbs up and to watch marvelous designer tutorial or digital fashion tutorial just subscribe this channel it will really boost my confidence and help me to make more videos so yeah thank you so much for watching see you in the next video goodbye